Okay, all you archery fans, how are we doing today? I'm going to try to do this video without getting wrapped up in my own uh, headphone cord here. Um, I got into the sport, uh, I'd say about 25 years ago, for a few years, and I kind of got out of it. And um, I got back into it, I'd say a little over a year ago, say last March or April. Uh, got a bow and started shooting again. And I got something interesting. I've been hearing I've been hearing stories about how ancient medieval longbowmen would uh, shoot 150, 180 pound bows, and uh, it got to the point where like one shoulder would be bigger than the other, and they dug up skeletons of these ancient archers, and they found you know bones on one side were like deformed or some stuff like that, and so I got to thinking. Why pull with one hand constantly and, you know, have one shoulder get bigger than the other or one bicep get bigger than the other and all this stuff? I just figure, why not get a bow that you could shoot with either hand with equal efficiency? So, uh, proving that I often have more money than brains, I went and I got this made. This is a custom made riser. ILF compatible. See, it has the fittings. Okay. Fully ambidextrous. See that? I don't know how well you can see that there, but the, the support for the riser is right in the middle. So if you're right-handed, okay, like most people, you could take it, set your arrow right there, boom, Fire it right-handed. You're left-handed. Okay. Set the arrow on the shelf like that. Fire it left-handed. Now, I thought this was good because what I've been taking this out. And uh, I've been, uh, I'll shoot like a half a, I got a quiver like a dozen arrows. Um, so I shoot like six of them right-handed. And then I'll shoot the other six left-handed. So kind of even out the strain on the muscles. And I find that I can even practice uh, maybe a little longer than I could if I was constantly pulling with one hand. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to temporarily pause the video, put the limbs on, and we'll take a look at the complete setup here. Let's go ahead and pause this. Okay, we're back. All right, uh, I put the limbs on and strung it up. Let me give you a look at it here. Nice recurved limbs. Uh, it is a bit on the long side. Now I am about six foot even and we're bringing it up to about here. So it's kind of on the long side. I find that I like uh, the long form because it makes for a nice smooth even pull. I don't get any stacking whatsoever. Of course it's not a compound so you're going to get harder as you pull back but uh, it gets harder in a smooth, even fashion. So I can pull this right-handed. Let's see if I can do this without hitting the ceiling. All right, so there we go. Works pretty good. That's right-handed. Now uh, we'll do this left-handed. There we go. Knocked my headphones a little bit, but yeah, it's a nice, smooth, even pull. I like the way it feels. Um, last weekend, I took it, uh, took it shooting to a park up in New Hampshire. Uh, they had some archery targets set up there and I did pretty good. I, I was shooting at about 30 yards and um, I'm going to say objectively I did the pretty good, not fantastic. I'd say I'm not ready uh, to go deer hunting quite yet. Now these limbs at my draw length, I pull about 29 and a half inches. Uh, so my draw length, this is just about exactly 50 pounds. I measured it on a scale that I have. Uh, I learned a long time ago uh, not to try to be some kind of a muscle man when you buy a bow. Now, uh, I can pull uh, a 75-pound bow, but I cannot practice for an hour with it. So here, about 50-pound bow, this is good for me. I can practice uh, for an extended period of time with this. And the fact that I can switch hands makes, it, makes my practice time even a little bit longer. So I think uh, I'm not quite ready to go deer hunting yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to practice with it, uh, get a little better than what I am now, and uh, let you know how things go. 
Well, that's about all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have yourself a wonderful day. Take care.